What is up guys? I am here with Rebecca and she's here for a little drive around mock test in the rain at Mitcham. Are you ready? I am. Okay, cool. Tell me about your driving so far. Have you done any driving tests before and how much have you practiced? So I had my driving test in September, which I failed. Um, Can't have gone well if you're here with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been driving on and off for a little while. Okay. How long have a you few been lessons. <laughs> with the whole break in driving? Oh, you've probably been driving years. for a long time, yeah, right? Yeah, a long yeah. time. Okay, so you've got a driving instructor. When was the last time you had a lesson? Um, last week. Last week, okay, good. So recent. So you've had one lesson, but then before that, like a four or five month break. Yeah, maybe so like six months actually. Six yeah, months it's break. It's been a while. So you haven't driven for a long time. A long and you're feeling time. confident. Are you going to pass today? Hopefully. Hopefully you're going to pass today. Hopefully. Okay, so not super confident. What is it that you normally trip up on on lessons? Or are you normally um, sweet? Everything's good. Probably like my clutch control, I'd say. Okay, well we've driven over here and actually your clutch control's been really smooth. You've okay. driven the car really smoothly. Okay. What do you think of the car so far? Nice. Nice? Nice drive. Okay, what about the handbrake then? <laughs> oh, the handbrake, yeah, it's a bit of a pain. <laughs> oh, it's a massive pain, a huge pain. Getting used to it. Not just for learners, for me as well. Oh. I don't know, Mercedes thought they'd be different and put the handbrake on the wrong side. So yeah. I'm gonna, even on the mock test, give you a little hint if okay. you need it with the handbrake. Right if then. I see you reaching down here or you're pressing <laughs> it the wrong way, I'll give you a hint because it's not on your test. Okay. And your Clio that you're used to mm -hmm. has the handbrake in the correct place. Yeah. We're at Mitchum right now. We're parked up in the Mitchum car park and we're ready to start a mock test. I've given you a medium test route. Mm -hmm. I know you've done one before and you told me where you went before. This mm -hmm. is gonna be a completely different test route and I'm not gonna to talk to you. I'm gonna let you concentrate like they do on the normal test. If mm -hmm. you've got any questions, ask me. If you've got any questions for the examiner, ask them. The worst they can say is, sorry, I can't help you with that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So we're gonna start with an eyesight check, mm, cool. but there's no cars in front of us. So <laughs> I'm gonna trust that you've had a glasses prescription yeah. done recently. <laughs> And let's move on to a show me, tell me question. Okay. Can you Ooh. tell me, oh, you've not practiced these for a while. It's been a while. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell me how to check your indicators are working before starting a journey? Um, you would just pop them on and walk around the car. Yeah. How would you pop them all on? How do you turn all of your indicators on oh, all that, at once? Um, where is it? Oh, would you put it's your different. hazard? Yeah, you put the hazard lights oh, on, there, there it is. is. Yeah. So you press the hazard light button, what does that do? Puts on all the light, all, all the indicators, indicators at sorry. the same time, then how do you check they're all working? You walk around. You walk around, yeah. You don't check on the dashboard because mm -hmm. it will still flash on the dashboard even if they're not flashing on the outside. Yeah. Really good answer. Happy with that? Happy. Drive on when you're ready. Welcome to Rebecca's mock test around Mitchum. As always on our mock tests, I'll be commentating along to let you know when she does something good, when she does something not so good, and anything else you need to look out for if you're learning to drive or taking your driving test soon. We're starting this mock test from Mitchum Driving Test Center on Red House Road. If you're taking your test here, when you arrive, reverse into one of the marked bays and your examiner will start your test from there. On your driving test, your examiner won't talk to you too much to let you concentrate, so I'll be doing the same for Rebecca. Cool, Santa's gonna kick in in a second, just follow that until okay. I tell you otherwise. At Mitcham, there are a lot of residential areas with easy roads like this, so we'll be speeding through them to keep it interesting. Stay tuned though, because it gets real spicy soon, and then when it comes to the manoeuvre, well, I'll let you guys wait and see. As always guys, give Rebecca any hints and tips that you've got in the comment section and in this episode I also want to know what you think of the new video layout, keep or ditch. After 300 yards, turn right. While you're there, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We've also got some more Moxes polls coming up on the Instagram at Driving School TV. If you're not following already, get there now. Turn right, turn right, turn right. Sure. Oh, shit. I'll help Rebecca with directions if I can see she's about to go off course and your examiner will do the same. She isn't being marked down for nearly going the wrong way, but she wasn't planning ahead here. If she was, she would have been positioned neatly behind the white car with a much smoother braking action. As a result, here's her first driver fault. Turn 
Look at the speed limit as you enter this road. One thing about Mitcham is that you'll find a lot of roads which look like they could have a 30 mile an hour speed limit, which are actually 20 miles an hour. So you need to be really good at spotting signs around here. Hopefully Rebecca's put the incident at the traffic lights behind her and is focusing on the road ahead. You might make a mistake on your driving test too, but thinking about it and not thinking about what's on the road will cause you to make more mistakes. So try and keep focused all the way to the end. At the end of the road, turn left, then go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Nice and simple so far, right? This is the good thing about taking your test around Mitcham. You're gonna get eased into it nice and gently, nice and slowly. Even if you turn right out of the test centre and you go to Lombard Roundabout first, you've still got a good few minutes before you get there to get your head in the game. down it's the, it's the opposite to what you're thinking oh, yeah great mercedes has put their handbrake in the wrong place so i'm not going to mark rebecca down for being slow with it and i'm definitely not going to mind helping her with it there's no requirement to put the handbrake on at traffic lights or anything so okay. if you don't want to just leave it all right After 200 yards, turn right. This is absolutely true. Some instructors insist on you using the handbrake every time you pull up at a set of traffic lights, but there's no requirement to do that on your driving test. The only time that you need to put the handbrake on is when you've pulled up to the side of the road or finished a manoeuvre. Turn right. First time Rebecca sets off, she's lifting the clutch really fast without any gas. The second time she's rushing and hasn't come fully off the brake yet and the car's gone into shutdown. The fail occurs though when she's halfway across the wrong lane with her car stalled and she's in the way of oncoming traffic. She's set off hundreds of times before and done it perfectly. It's just the fact that she's rushing that's causing her to mess it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my God, I've definitely felt this. <laughs> if she could have just oh. taken a second pause, refocused and tried again, she would have been fine. When you stall on your driving test, you need to understand that your examiner has seen it and will mark you down for it, regardless of what happens next. You won't get away with it by rushing or recovering quickly, so take your time and recover properly so that you don't continue to make mistakes with your pedals. Okay, let's stop on the left in a safe place. Okay, we'll find another one. Mm -hmm. Probably have the ashtrays. I think that car's doing a mock test as well. Yeah. <laughs> Around the exact same route that Probably. we're doing. Later. Okay, driving when you're ready. On your driving test, your examiner will pull you over four or five times to check how you pull over and how you pull away. 
it's perfectly normal. Take your time and use it as a nice break in driving where you can take a deep breath, gather your thoughts and smash the next section of driving until you pull over again. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Rebecca is looking at the sat-nav and seeing that there's a left turn coming up, but she's not looking at the map properly. The left turn is a long way down the road and it's the second left. After 100 yards, turn left. Start this one, next one. When you have an instruction from the sat-nav, it's important to identify the junction and not just rely on the map. She's got a driver fault here because her signal was misleading to the oncoming vehicle. Turn left. After 80 yards, turn right, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Turn left. And then after the two, after the black car stop on the left. What I'd like you to do next is move off from here, reverse part back into this position, mm -hmm. and keep reasonably close to the curb, and finish within two car lengths of the car in front. Okay. Can I that? Yep. Great. This is a pretty tricky spot to do a parallel park. Not only is the road quite narrow, but we're pointing down a hill. So Rebecca will need to be really careful with her clutch control to make sure she doesn't roll the wrong way. Bear in mind she's only done one lesson in six months. She was probably hoping to get a pull up on the right today. It's been a while since I've done this. Take your time, there's no rush. She's lifting the clutch too far with the brakes still applied and stalled. Let's see if she can recover from this and not make any more mistakes. Do it much slower. And take the handbrake off. Rebecca's not steering fast enough. You can see from the reversing cam she's about to hit the curb. She either hasn't realised that she's hit the curb or she doesn't know that you can't drive on it because she's used extra gas to hop onto it. Oh. <laughs> There's the curb again, this time it's the front wheel. Oh my god. 
Do you want to go back as a pause? Oh my god. Um... <sighs> Switch the car off and on. Okay. I'm telling her to turn it off and on because on the Mercedes system, if you stall more than three times in a row, your car shuts down and you need to manually switch it back on again. Do you want to go back as a pause? Turn the hamburger off. <laughs> Check that reverse again. Lift up. That's one second. You're at the biting point because we're on hill. Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> so we want to go backwards. Let's put it back into a breast. A second. Make sure you're lifting up when you move left. We've still got yeah. two wheels on the curb. I've just used my brakes to stop an accident, and this is starting to feel more like a driving lesson cool. than stop a driving the test. Wait. Put on the brake. Find the bite and then come off. There. Yeah. Hold the clutch. Lift it up slightly. Just clutch down. Switch off and on. Okay, take the handbook off. And then lift the clutch up to the bike with the foot on the brake. Oh. With foot on the brake. Clutch off the bike. You hold it there. Just take your foot off the brake. Don't move the left foot. That's it. Great. Stay left. Okay, stop. Straight up we walk. Handbrake neutral. That's part. Oh my god. Take a deep breath. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh my Remember, god. Remember, it's fine. You can't get a driving license today anyway. <laughs> so you've learned now that you need to go back to your driving instructor. I and haven't done that in like ages. Parallel so I'm not parking. Surprised. Yeah, you've done one lesson in six months <laughs> and you didn't cover parallel parking. Is that mean of me to give you the hardest manoeuvre? No, so it was I'll, fair I'll take to... that one. Fair, fair one. I should have let you park up on the right. <laughs> but now you've learnt some stuff and you can go back and then pass your real test. Yeah. Because you're like, all right, cool. Do you know what? I've taken some fuel from Francis and I'm yeah, going to ace all my manoeuvres. Yeah. Happy days. Let's drive on. Cool. We're going to finish this route, yeah? Rebecca found that manoeuvre extremely difficult. Hopefully this will serve as a lesson to anyone else thinking of taking a driving test and leaving practice to the last minute or only booking a couple of lessons as a refresher before their test. After 80 yards, turn left, then turn right. Turn left, then turn right. A driving test is an extremely lonely place to be in as you're on your own and the examiner can't help you. I helped her finish the manoeuvre and we're going to finish the route as well to give her and you guys watching the full experience. But on a real test, an examiner would have stopped Rebecca and let her drive back to the test centre a while ago. Oh my god, I actually keep stalling. This is so embarrassing. Fine. Slow it down. We're not in a rush. Oh my god. Get the gas before you lift up the clutch. That's it. Rebecca does not seem to be enjoying this mock test. Can you see what she did with her feet there? Don't rush. Remember, we're not in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. 
With a small gap to set it off into, she rushed the pull away. I can assure you, even though she'd only done one lesson recently, her driving was very smooth and she was more than in control of the car before the mock test started, which just goes to show how confident you need to be to pass a driving test. Whatever level of driving you're at, your driving skill will be greatly reduced once you've got the pressure of the test and an examiner next to you. Stop on the left in a safe place. That's the end of independent driving. I'm going to direct you from here. Drive on when you're ready and turn right like the sign I've asked you to. Yeah, take the next right. End of the road, turn left. We are now on the way back to the test centre to get results. This is London Road towards Thornton Heath. It can be very busy here and cars can be in a bit of a hurry, but Rebecca does really well and keeps it cool. We're going to speed through this road because it's pretty straightforward until we get to the roundabout. Turn right on the roundabout and take the second exit to Brighton. If you're doing your test in Mitcham, note that this is the Thornton Heath Pond roundabout. If you're paying full attention, you'd spot that both lane markings say A23, which is the direction we're going. So you can be in the left lane to turn right at this roundabout, which would be slightly easier. So what was that, right? Second exit, here's the first one. Exit. Okay, Rebecca, when it's safe to do so, I want you to show me how you open and close your side window. I'll do it, great. Get it back up. Thanks. At the roundabout, we're going to turn right. It's the fourth exit. That was Lombard Roundabout, probably the hardest thing that you can do at Mitcham or Croydon driving test centres and Rebecca made it look easy.
we're going to take the next left back into the test centre. straight on like we did um, when we first got here. Okay, great. And then park up somewhere next to Parker's in one of those bays over there. Turn right. Perfect. Okay. Handbrake in neutral. I still can't get the hang of it. No. <laughs> Sometimes I can't either. <laughs> and it's my car. <laughs> Alright, great. I'm going to take my seatbelt off. Okay. Are we still videoing? Yeah. <laughs> Why, you want to swear? I think it was mainly nerves. Like, okay. I was like, I was overthinking it. You don't normally drive like that, do you? Not really, no. The, on the, the continuous stalling, definitely not. On the way down here, you didn't drive like that. No, I know. On the way down here, you were <laughs> so <the> good. <laughs> <laughs> or, well, if the pressure of people watching you made you do that, then actually no. the pressure of someone sitting here and assessing you might do the same. Yeah, no, you I know. You said that you felt very nervous on your first driving test. Yeah. Yeah? I would say very nervous. Was it kind of like similar? Uh, yeah. The similar sort of nerves yeah. where like, oh, it's like yeah. someone's watching me, stop watching me. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't quite perform to the best of my like, ability. Sometimes you probably realise I'll zone out and I'll drive completely fine. And mm. then, I'll, yeah. And then sometimes when there's a car behind you and you're slipping into a gap, you've got your foot on the brake when you're trying to set off. Yeah. And then it's like, you still know, I know you can do better than that because you do it perfectly on the small roads yeah. you do it perfectly sometimes but yeah. sometimes you just get your feet in the wrong order yeah. maybe yeah because you're thinking about it too much yeah. but you can do it you just I need know. to do it every time no I know and that manoeuvre oh, let's talk about that for even. a second I, well, I, have, I wasn't surprised because when you told me to do that manoeuvre I was kind of like how did you feel inside crap. like yeah, you were hoping I, I was going to give you a pull that. up on the right yeah I haven't done that in like I don't even remember the last time okay did you feel when you first touched the pavement because you yeah. kept reversing? Yeah. So if you feel that you're on the pavement, you'll get away with that as long as you feel it and you correct it. Mm -hmm. But you carried on reversing mm -hmm. and you, it wasn't a short curb, it was a big curb. So mm -hmm. you got the wheel up and over onto the curb. Mm -hmm. So that's got to be a fail. Mm -hmm. But if you'd have just felt, oh, I've just hit the curb and then move forward, mm -hmm. you were doing fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, hitting the curb or touching the curb is not no, an I automatic know, fail. Yeah. Oh, is it not? No, not at all. Oh, okay. Yeah. It shows really good spatial awareness. If yeah. You can feel the curb and mm -hmm. do something about it. Mm -hmm. But you didn't. Yeah, no. You carried on. You were like, do you know what? I've committed now. I'm going to hit the curb. I'm going to roll onto the curb. And if I'm going to mess it up, it's going to be spectacular. <laughs> So, oh yes. Oh my god, that was so bad. Plus, I gave it to you on a hill. Yeah. Yeah, which was double mean. I've Sorry. never done it on a hill. Really? Okay, yeah. so that's really useful to try and practice that because it's going to be different skills with clutch control. Yeah. Maybe if you were on a real test, your examiner would have said, Do you know what? Stop. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Let's move on. But I wanted you to, to get it finished. You wanted me to take the L. <laughs> Well, you already had the L. I just wanted you to, <laughs> to get the, the move finished and yeah. see if you could rectify it and yeah, redeem yeah, yourself yeah. from, from the... I got it in though, right? Yeah, yeah, it was I finished have, at the I end. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. So, now here's the thing. When you said my test is in three weeks' time, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, cool. Your driving standard is going to be pretty high. Mm -hmm. If I had a student with a test in three weeks' time, mm -hmm. I'd want them to be like driving super independently mm -hmm. and passing mock tests, mm -hmm. no problem. Because I know when you go for a real test, your standard of driving drops. Oh, really? Like you found today. Your driving was sick, but then you did a mock test and, and the then, standard dropped. Yeah. Because when you're under pressure, you can't concentrate so well, so your standard drops. Now, at your level where you're three weeks away, mm -hmm. I want you to be not doing one lesson a week, which is normal, like three lessons. You need to do more than three lessons. You need to get really? on the phone to your driving instructor mm -hmm. and, and book up a nice package of lessons if you can. What point did I fail? I feel like, like what? yeah, what point did I fail? Um, there was a couple with the clutch mm -hmm. when we were turning right onto that road and you kept on trying to sit off 
with your foot on the brake. So you weren't lifting your foot off the brake early enough. Mm-hmm. So you stalled four times mm-hmm. moving into that side road. Okay. You got a couple of other minors for, for various things, but not as serious as that. Okay, cool. Happy with that? Well, no, but yeah, at least I know now happy what with the I feedback. need to do. Yeah, not no, happy I'm that ver- you didn't no, pass. I'm, I'm kind of not surprised because my drive was, I didn't think it was good. Okay. <laughs> so it's fine. Good. So you've learned something mm-hmm. and you're going to come back stronger. Yeah. You're going to use this as fuel and say, do you know what? I failed Francis's mock test, mm-hmm. which is good because I've learned something. I learned yeah. where I need to improve. Mm-hmm. I learned how much practice I need now. Yeah. And I can come back and practice with my instructor and come back stronger mm-hmm. and pass the real test. Yeah. Because I know where I need to go. I know what I need to do. Yeah. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to feel oh, no, deflated. I, give, I, don't, I don't feel deflated Good. at all. Just use it as, oh my God, you know what? I've got work to do and yeah. I'm going to do that work. I've got the time and I've got the energy yeah. and I've got the money. I can put money into lessons. Yeah. This is not a situation where, do you know what? Three lessons, you know what? Yeah, I'll try it and then book another one if I fail. Mm-hmm. You might not get another test for a long time. So if you can book more than three lessons, you might as well. Yeah. It might cost, oh, do you know what? Extra money. But it might be worth it. And you're not paying me. It. So I'm not saying that because yeah. I want you to book more lessons with me. Because you need it, right? Yeah. What do you I need it for? I need it. My to job. To carry your massage and yeah. beauty products around and be able to deliver them to clients' houses. Yeah, exactly. Because that's what you do for a job, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you need to be able to carry your stuff around. Exactly. Yeah, What do you no. do at the moment? Get it on the bus? Um, mainly cabs. Cabs, cabs yeah. That's yeah. expensive, right? I know. Imagine if you could save all that money I and know. put it into petrol. Exactly that. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much for Thank coming you. down to see us. If you need any hints or tips in the future, just mm-hmm. let me know. And will you let us know how you get on, on your real test? Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Do you want to say when it is or is that secret? No, 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 definitely not. Okay, it's in a few weeks' time though, right? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's not next week and it's not the, over a month no, away. Yeah. It's soon. Yeah. So wish Rebecca luck for her real driving test. Mm. Give her any hints and tips that you've got in the comments. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.